What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Barefoot Garage and we're back working on the XB12X. So tonight we're going to do what is what I would consider <clears throat> one of the most needed upgrades on this bike. Maybe all the Buells, but uh, specifically mine is the headlight. That is all the headlights she wrote as a low beam. So you can tell in the garage, it seems okay. But I promise you, when you're out on the road, that is hardly sufficient, especially in modern times with LED headlights and everything. I live on a very dark driveway. So let's go look at what it looks like in the driveway and you'll realize why I can't ride the bike at my favorite time, nighttime, because of that right there and how we're gonna fix it. Let's take a look outside. All right, so the bike is out here in the dark. I have no idea how much of this you can see. And we are looking straight ahead. So, that is what the low beam gives you. If I stood five feet in front of the bike, you probably couldn't see me. You can look at it like this. It just seems okay in this light. If we go to high beams, it goes from that to that, okay. So you can tell that there's light happening right there. But it's time for an upgrade. All right, so as you can see, kind of useless, kind of junk. Here's one of the reasons. This is just an incandescent, I believe it's an 8.7. The other reason, look how dark that is. The reflector is melted and cloudy. So we're gonna actually change the reflectors. Then we're gonna change to some modern LED bulbs. And this is gonna be like a whole new bike for night. All right, that's the cloudy headlight we're starting with. And here is what we are going to. So used headlight, new to me. I believe it sits like that in the bike. And you can see this reflector is in excellent shape. It has an extra headlight guard, so that's kind of cool. So this is a real Buell XB12 headlight that came off of some other XB12. So it should be 100% swap in. And this also helps me see that there's one ruined bolt on the bottom, two on the top, and then I can get to work in here getting these out. Looks like there's actually uh, some foam there. So the only thing is gonna be getting these backs off and making sure that this is all right. No parking bolt or anything like that. So I'll get the old one out. The other part, the major upgrade is boom, the Cyclops H7 4800 lumen LED module. If you have a motorcycle, you need these headlights. If you don't have the LED headlights, or if you ordered your bike recently and they don't have LED headlights, get yourself some of those. Uh, I mentioned it, uh, you know, a couple of times, but I worked for a couple of years or a year or so in the motorcycle industry for a parts manufacturer, a uh, retailer, better say, and some of those guys were friends with the guys at Cyclops. And so I threw a set of their bulbs, I think it was H4s, in my V-Strom, and it took it from eh to totally unbelievable at night, no need for auxiliary lights, just like unbelievable amount of light. That was almost 10 years ago and their bulbs have gotten better and better and better and better. So I'll show you that stuff when we get into it. We'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two, but um, yeah, it's gonna change the world for riding this bike at night. Down here in Florida, right at night is the is the, really the game. There's not as many people out, the roads are quiet, you get good lights, it's cooler, it's just the best time to ride. So we're gonna throw on the time-lapse, pull this guy apart, and then we'll jump into the new parts. Let's go. So I can tell this is actually a factory part. They're both stamped USA. They both have this ridiculous bolt down here that somebody couldn't get off and clearly broke. But now you can see better that melted lens. I'm even pop this apart so you can see it. Somebody has tried to seal this with silicone. I don't really know. But the bulbs both work, which was the strange piece. So here is what we got. Uh, this smart person had these regular 10 millimeter bolts in there and not that stupid ridiculous bolts in here that required some like complex socket and 
nut driver arrangement. So yeah, we're gonna use those. As far as this bolt on the bottom, it's torques, but it's also chewed up, so weird stuff. Buell, I know you're out of business, but the amount of weird size torques and American hex head bolts you used, thumbs down. So let's pull this apart and we'll take a look at our new bolts. All right, it's been a couple minutes and I think I realized why this was on eBay. This little plastic housing for this little plastic uh, metal nut came clean on the old one. On the new one, it spins and the bolt is stuck and the head was roasted. So I have cut the head and drilled and tapped it for this tiny little M5 because all it really does is just hold some forward motion. So we're gonna go with that. I did try to pry the housings apart and like, as best I can tell, they put some glue in here, put this in, then they snapped this on and they squeezed it together. And so it was incredibly hard to get this part cut myself. And there's no way that's coming out without destroying it. So I don't want to destroy my new one. It was the only one on eBay listed for XB12X. And so I want to try to preserve that. I will work with this, washers, whatever, just to get enough tension through the fender to keep it from swinging. So let's take a look at the old bulbs. Standard H7 bulb. All four of these were fine, so I'll probably save them. Now I have a spare wiring harness. Apparently there was a park light for some nations, but not America. And our new bulbs, so I can do this one-handed here, from Cyclops. There you go. Always love it when we get some stickers. 20th anniversary for Cyclops Adventure Lighting. They make a ton of stuff now, not just like headlight bulbs. So remember these are DC only bulbs. So if you don't know what the difference between a DC and an AC bike is, uh, you should have somebody else work on your motorcycle. So that's what I've got here. It looks like there's a couple of options, but forget that. Let's just get right into the good stuff. Ooh, look at that. So these are 4,800 lumens. I don't know how many watts it is, but the good news is it's the same light bulb as a GS and GSA. So basically we have a GS now. So we'll just go ahead and go with that. Um, so it's labeled for DC power use everywhere. So what I need to do is get this in there and then see if my boot in the back will still fit. So what it looks like I'm gonna probably end up needing to do is to run this out behind the headlight housing and connect this outside of these uh, little boot housing thing. So this actually has a fan in it, um, and so it runs off headlight power, so we wanna make sure that there's getting plenty of uh, air to that. I may not run these now that I have a spare set because these are 100% waterproof. Just straight up dunk them and they're totally fine. So I may actually leave them open to the air, but let's try one on the back of the house. All right, so that took a little longer than expected, having to deal with that broken bolt and deal with the boots as I wanted them. So here is the final option. I tried the boot over, that's gonna block these fans, that's a no-go. No boot will let moisture in the housing and I'll have just a bunch of moisture to deal with. Although neither of them had the parking light plugged in and everything has been okay. But the bike's really not been outside overnight. So what I did is I slit down the middle, out the end, cut out just, you know, uh, less than a penny size in the middle, flipped them inverted, stuck them around the fans and cinched it on. So, you know, in the end, I have a complete second harness. If I'm not happy with this, we'll figure it out, but that's the deal. So there was a five pin quiz kick disconnect for each one. And then it goes right into the headlight housing. So I really didn't want to look at them, but I did need to know which was left and right. So I kind of closed it, squinted my eyes and figured out which one was low beam and high beam. And so now we're going to take this whole assembly, put it on the car, I mean bike, and then we're going to zip tie these guys up out of the way, probably separately. Um, it is a DOT approved. There's a sticker here. 38 watt LED bulb. So one of the notes from Cyclops, is that you want the reflectors to point left and right. And I can see I've got one that's a little bit turned. Let's see if we can fix that without taking this thing apart. There we go. So you need your reflectors to go side to side, and they do. So let's get it back on the bike, 
then we're gonna find out how much light we've got. All right, everything is back on the bike. Seems good. Put it back in the same place. I'm gonna maybe leave this apart until I can see if I can aim it. This screw on the bottom, it's kind of hokey, honestly, but I think it's fine. It's gonna be pretty tight in there and, you know, not playing a huge uh, cross Atlantic trip on a bike like this, you know, right now. So I'm gonna push the bike back outside to the exact same spot and we're gonna find out if there's a difference in these bulbs and the standard crappy ones, which we kind of know there is. So the bike is parked in the same spot. It's about five feet in front of us, you just can't see it. So let's give it a shot with the new Cyclops H7s. Okay, that's a little bit of a difference. This is the low beam and the high beam. So I originally thought that it ran both bulbs for high beam and one for low beam, but it actually is a different pattern. You can see it shift up. So that's low. That's high. Let me stand up the bike see if it makes a difference. Low beam, I can see extremely far in front of me. High beam, and I can see into tomorrow. So what an awesome upgrade for the Buell. That is gonna do it for the Barefoot Garage tonight, working on the Ulysses. Uh, I took a little longer than expected, having to deal with the boots and the Bergen bolts, and then making sure that this was all correct, aimed, and great. So, we have plenty of light to ride at night. I actually ordered a light bracket, an auxiliary light bracket. And when I saw how expensive auxiliary lights were, I remembered, I need to get a couple of Cyclops bulbs in there. So, taking the bike out tomorrow, we'll give it a shot and see how those bulbs are. and. Uh, Stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage for more action on the Ulysses. I got lots more cool things coming for this in the coming months. Probably going to be turned into a little bit more of a long-term project. So right here on YouTube, Barefoot Garage Jacks, and over on Instagram at Barefoot Garage Jacks in between episodes. See you guys.